I love this place. I didn't honest to God know if I would. I didn't know if it was a good idea for me to start a new Minecraft world, considering just how much time I spent on the old one. My concern was, you know, yes, I do still love Minecraft, but have I done too much recently? Am I a little burnt out now? That could cause the problem for starting a new world. But as we're back on the second episode, and I'm genuinely excited to start working on it, no, no, there's no issue there. No issue there at all. So as you can see last time, we built this. Well, first we decided the location for this, which I decided to put on the coast here. I I feel like I'm going to do other buildings around the coast. I feel like I'm going to turn that island there maybe into a fishing thing. And, and I think maybe I'll have a port here and... I don't know. There's lots of things I can do. And I've got plans for the size of the mountains. And I've got plans for the mountains back here. I have lots of plans and ideas, basically. <laughs> so, obviously, I've figured out where I was going to go. And obviously, I came, I, you know, got a world. I had to go through a fair few to come up with this one. And then I built these gardens. Then I built this shell, which, as you can see, is very much just that. It's a shell. It's got some signs with roughly what I'm planning. But that's really it, is that it's, it's just a very rough plan. Still not entirely sure what I'm going to do the whole way yet. But my goal for today is good, really good, or for this episode, <laughs> definitely not one day's work. My goal for this episode ideally would be to see at least a couple of these rooms done. I mean, the whole way is kind of a given. Um, well, I said that was a staircase, so I guess that answered my question about the stairs. <sighs> I'd like to see at least those two done, and I would like to see another one of these big rooms done. In an ideal world, I'd love to get the whole thing done, as well as filling up these tower rooms here. <laughs> but, practically speaking, I only recorded about eight hours. It doesn't look likely, does it? Because <laughs> there's a lot of work to do. But the hallway and the grand staircase, 100%. The hallway, the grand staircase, and the library, oh, it's definitely possible. But I guess we will have to find out. Because this obviously is what I did last time. This is the only room I got done last time. Uh, a, there is quite a lot to this room in my defence. <laughs> you know, with the throne and the chandeliers. And the eating areas and everything like that. I mean, a lot of work went into this. And obviously, a lot of work went into the building itself. So I'd like to see me be able to get all this done. And hopefully some of this. But definitely this. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get started. Well, that's looking a lot different now, isn't it? <laughs> that has significantly changed from last time. So, do you remember my little thing about I'm going to build these two rooms and hopefully the library? Yeah. Yeah. So instead I built all of them. Literally all of them. So let's start here. Now, we saw this room last time. This is the throne room. But there are doors now. You can see there's doors on the back there. And there's also doors here. We're going to start over here. Probably the least lackluster area. <laughs> well, no, it's the smallest area. The whole way here. And leads to a living area. Now, that is my goal for these towers. And I'm thinking they will serve as living areas. Basically, for people who are staying here but do not necessarily live here like there will be a main sort of master bedroom but these are for sort of other people that's the goal so we have these will be four no five floors yes i think that, well technically so technically this is a floor but i've split it off it depends where you're looking because sort of that's just sort of one that's one but basically i'll split this off so there will be sort of five floors to this there'll be two more floors being built for the main house but there'll be an extra three built for the four towers in the corner but anyway we have a sitting area here and then on this room we have a little dining area um this <laughs> this uh, dining area is not complete i'm going to go to a different one because that dining area is not complete that is a thing i will damn it, have to remember <laughs> for next time
There we are. I, I'm just trying a few new different sort of chair designs. You see I've done something different here. I've done something different down downstairs and I've done something different in the main area. I think there's going to be a chest room, a bathroom and a bedroom. But obviously I'm not going to build those until I've built everything else. See look, different chair designs here as well. And here too, this is technically a different design. I'm trying new designs and new resources and all different things. Anyway, we leave here. And we go into the main hall, which, as you can see, I've gone quite artistic with it. I just felt like we should have somewhere to show off the paintings. I felt like a big house like this would have lots of paintings, so here we are. Now we leave this room here and head to the grand staircase. Now there's sitting areas here, a little... Uh, water display area here and those just lead to other living areas and then you have the stairs here let's go up around and then up again and this will of course lead to the first floor with some llamas but <laughs> as you can see there's nothing's been built up here yet so this is going to be the, this is going to be a whole thing that i'm basically ready to start with but when I start the this floor, I'm also going to put like a balcony and that's going to come down. But that's also going to affect what the building looks like underneath. I don't know what this is going to look like, basically, at this point. So, you know, I very much want you to get everything done before I even look to that. And that's very much going to be next week. But that's the only sort of real access to upstairs at the moment. I may add some more in the future, but that's good for now. Anyway, if we turn left... We get into the library. It, it it's the library. I, I feel like not much else needs to be said really. It it it's the library. I, I quite like it. We have books. You can read them. I wrote them. I wrote both books. This this one over here is a finished book. I think this is the the diary of Evolve Pixel and this is the diary of Pixel Landia. They're both ones I built built, wrote and uh yeah, th this is going to kind of be... I've done this before. I did it with Utopia 2.0. I kind of want to have a bit of a story for the world. So this is kind of setting the story. Like, this is the past. And this book here is going to be written as we continue. Every time something new gets built, this will be written in. And then we head across to a room I never even thought I would start. And instead, I finished. And this is our museum. It's supposed to be sort of a, a, a combination of, I suppose it fits in with the story of like the adventures that the owner of this place went on before settling down, but also it just practically serves a bit of a museum to Minecraft. You see we have exhibits, we have the end and the ender portal, we have the never, we have a panda on a track, <laughs> um, no explanation given whatsoever. We have Deep Slate Mining, we have an Ocean Monument, and we have a Minecraft Dungeon. And I quite like this room, especially because I didn't think I'd even look at it today. But again, this has been me kind of trying to intentionally do things that I've never really done before. I've never really used those torches before, I've certainly never used those lights. Okay, so just, just trying new and different things and so on. And this bit in the middle I quite like, which is the... Evolve Pixel Manor and the surrounding area. And yes, I did go everywhere and explore just to reveal this. And look, there's a village up there. Now eventually there will be lots of other buildings around here to kind of, you know, show on the map. But obviously for right now, we've just got this one here. And yes, every time I update a room, I have to update the maps. I have updated the map several times, including, I may add, for this room. Because of the fact that I put this thing in, and suddenly from up top it looks different. The only downside of this map is you have to keep updating it. But, you know, small price to pay for something that looks this cool. And that is pretty much it. It's more than I was expecting to show off because it's more than I was expecting to do. I had the idea for the museum in since last episode, but I expected to start that next week. And instead, it, it's finished. So we have all of this stuff done. So 
I guess that means next week we start the first floor, or second floor if you're American, but I'm not, so it's the first floor. I guess that's next week. I'm looking forward to it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I've got a little while. I've got like 10 days to figure it out. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you all very, very soon.